Good morning, everybody. Children, let's continue with the lesson one, Growing Plants. In the previous section, we came to know that plants grow through two ways. We were dealing with the first way, through their seeds. In this way, we have seen the structure of a seed, types of seeds. Today, we are going to see the germination of seeds and dispersal of seeds. Germination of seeds. The process of development of a seed into a seedling is called germination. The stages of germination are shown in the diagram. Children, here a question arises that in our kitchen we store many seeds in the containers but they do not germinate. What is the reason? Children, these seeds do not germinate because a seed requires specific conditions to germinate. So now let us see the conditions necessary for germination. Seed requires air, water and warmth. Plant needs space, sunlight, nutrients and water from the soil to grow. If they grow too close to each other, the plants will not get enough space and nutrients from the soil to support their growth. They will not grow well. So, dispersal of seeds is very important. Dispersal of seeds occurs by the help of various agents like air, water, animals and explosion and many more. So now, let us start with the agents of dispersal. Number one, dispersal by wind, air. Example, dandelion seeds, cotton seeds, etc. Seeds which are light and have wings or hairs on them get dispersed by the wind. Dispersal by water. Some seeds fall in water and can float are carried by the following flowing current of water. Example, lotus, coconut, etc. Dispersal by animals. Some seeds have hooks and spines which get stuck to the fur of the animals and are carried away. Example, jamun, cherry, apple seeds, etc. And the last is the explosion method. Some seeds burst open with great force, scattering the seeds away from the mother plant. Example, peas, balsam, etc. So today children, the first type of growing plants explanation is over. Now it's time for giving some assignments. So please read the explained topics carefully and write the given assignment in your copy. Question number one. Define germination. Question number two. What are the conditions necessary for germination? And now let's discuss the answers of the first day assignment. Answer one. The two type of seeds are monocot seeds. Number two, dicot seeds. Answer number two. As in the question, it was told to arrange the given seeds in two columns, we, I have done it, monocot seeds and dicot seeds. In monocot seeds, corn, wheat, maize, rice, ginger, onion, garlic, millet, tulip comes. And in dicot seeds, peas, beans, potato, castor, lychee, mango, almond comes. Next, answer 3 was the diagram, which you, I think you must have done it very easily. So, the first day assignment is over. So, like this, every day we'll discuss the answers of the explained topic. Thank you.